What are you ladies and gentlemen, Lloyd Coles here, and today I want to talk about Hogwarts Legacy. And more specifically, whether or not you should play Hogwarts Legacy. I'm going to be telling you all about the game, but avoiding any spoilers. And I'm also going to be talking about the controversy that is surrounding this game, but that's going to be towards the end of the video. Right now, I'm going to tell you a ton of stuff about the game, and who I think would enjoy playing this game. So who's this game for? Harry Potter fans? Yes. Gamers? Yes, Harry Potter fans who are also gamers, this is the game that you've been waiting for. Now let's talk about the features that are in this game that Harry Potter fans are going to love to see. Exploring Hogwarts Castle and surrounding areas such as the Dark Forest and Hogsmeade. In addition to that, there's actually a pretty big world outside of these areas that you can also explore. You can spend hours and hours just exploring this well-crafted world that stays very true to the books. All of the areas in the game really feel lived in and authentic. You will constantly hear conversations back and forth between wizards and witches and the residents of the area just talking about their daily lives. And they will even comment on your character's impact on the world and the choices that you made. There are so many side quests and side activities. It's the kind of game where you look at the clock after hours of playing and wonder where the time went. As for the main story, I thought it was pretty good. It's basically your average good versus evil story, but there are quite a few choices that you can make during the game. And one of these choices is of course the house that you will be in. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. The Sorting Hat will recommend a house for you depending on how you answer their questions, but you can ultimately choose whichever house you want. And your choice of house actually impacts some of the quests in the game. One of the more impactful choices that you can make is to go down the road of becoming a dark wizard or witch and learn the unforgivable curses. Another highlight for me was the unique and memorable characters that I met along my journey. From the professors who give you assignments and teach you spells, to students who will accompany you on many of your quests. They all have unique personalities and I really did enjoy interacting with a lot of the characters in this game. Now if you're a huge Harry Potter fan, you have definitely always dreamed of going to the Hogwarts classes. And good news in this game, throughout the main mission and a lot of side quests that you can do, involve the classes and involve Hogwarts professors. There are quite a few classes that you can attend from potions class, defense against the dark arts class, flying, charms, and several others. I was actually surprised with the amount of classes that they actually put in the game. Speaking of welcome surprises, I really enjoyed the combat in this game. I've played so many different games over the years that have magic and spell combat, and very rarely am I impressed. But this game really impressed me with its combat. Now I'm not saying that it's in the same league as games like Elden Ring, but this game does have really good combat. There's over 20 different spells that you can learn, and you can switch back and forth between them on the fly, throwing out some pretty cool spell combos. As a Harry Potter fan, the only thing that this game was missing was, of course, Quidditch. You can't play Quidditch in the game, and that was a bit of a disappointment for me. I am crossing my fingers that it's going to be a future expansion. Even if I wasn't a Harry Potter fan, I would absolutely love this game just as a gamer who enjoys fantasy. And I cannot imagine a Harry Potter fan picking up this game and not absolutely loving it. So, let's talk about the controversy. Of course, everyone has their own opinion on this. Do you want to boycott this game? I'm certainly not going to argue with you. I don't have anything negative to say about anyone that wants to boycott this game. Go right ahead if that's the stance that you want to take. But I truly do not think that boycotting the game is going to do anything to help the trans community. And I don't think playing the game is going to do anything to hurt the trans community. On a side note, if you're going to have a strong stance against this game, can you please, at the very least, go and read J.K. Rowling's statements? Of all the posts that I've seen online boycotting this game, I don't think any of them referred to her actual statements. I had to research it myself before I found out what she actually said. But I strongly believe that harassing people just for playing a video game has a very negative impact and is definitely doing more harm than good to the trans community. Please, be kind to each other out there. If you are interested in Hogwarts Legacy, 
I cannot recommend it enough. It is an amazing game. Thank you all for watching, and as always, stay where you're at, and I'll come where you too.